I'd like to show you how to make your site look more professional in three easy steps. These are three very simple techniques that you can follow regardless of which page builder or platform you're using to build your website. Let's dive in. You're gonna see me using a couple of different tools in this video. One of them is Thrive Architect, which is the page builder that I use to design my pages on WordPress. And the other one is Thrive Theme Builder, which has which as the name implies is the tool that I use to build my WordPress themes. Now you can check both of these tools out using the link in the description box. Now the first thing that you can try doing to come up with a little bit of a more elaborate and professional look for your design is to use a consistent color palette throughout your website. And here's something that you can try. Head over to colors.co and try generating a palette that you like. What's really cool about this site is that you can keep on generating color palettes all day long if you wanted to until you find a good one and it happens to be completely free, which is great. And once you've found one that you're comfortable with, uh, use the function to visualize what your color palette will look like on your site. Now, colors.co is a great resource, but it can quickly turn into a double-edged sword if you try using all of the colors that it's going to generate for you. Ideally, you wanna pick one key color which is going to serve as your primary brand color and then play with either tones of white or black to create contrast. So if your primary brand color is brown and your dashboard sidebar is brown, your font color for that particular section is probably going to be white. And the main dashboard background color is probably going to be white as well to create contrast with your main sidebar. Now you can then use the other colors that colors.co is going to be generating for you as accent colors or secondary colors to highlight buttons, borders, dividers, and so on. Believe it or not, this whole thing with picking the right colors is important. And if you're not a designer and you don't really know what you're doing, it can be easy to go off a tangent and start using random colors that are going to negatively impact your design. What I've often seen people do is simply rely on Thrive Theme Builder to handle this aspect of their site's design because with Thrive Theme Builder, you simply need to enter your primary brand color and it magically automatically generates a color palette for you that is going to work really well across your site. It's going to pick a color for your background sections that works beautifully well with your brand color and it picks a color for your dividers and call to actions. It really does feel like magic. The next thing that you can try to do to make your site look more professional is use a boxed layout. Now, what is this? Content by default when dropped on a blank page on a blank canvas is going to try to stretch out and cover the full width of the screen. And you know, this makes pages look clunky, messy. It forces visitors to have to read text from one side of the screen to the other one. And it's overall an unpleasant experience. But what you can try doing, and I do this all the time, whether I'm building websites or software, is to have your content sit inside a box that's, I don't know, perhaps 1200 pixels wide or 1400 pixels wide. That way, regardless of how much content you have, it's never going to stretch out more than the width that you've assigned to the parent container. Again, if you're using Thrive Theme Builder, you can just set a maximum width for your page inside your page settings. It's super easy. And if you do this, you'll notice how your content is going to flow much better by you know, having it aligned inside a container, inside a boxed layout. And you know, feel free to play with different alignments within that maximum width that your page is, is now going to have. Not every section needs to stretch out 1400 pixels wide. My blog posts, for the most part, never stretch out more than 800 pixels, for example. And last but not least, let's talk about the proper use of fonts. I'll confess, I have a problem. And the first step in solving a problem is accepting that there is one. And my problem is called enter. You see, I've developed this habit of only using Enter as my font for pretty much everything that I'm working on, but there's a good reason for this. Enter is a font that is easy to read. The styling of headings that use Enter contrast very well with that of body paragraphs that make use of Enter as well. And overall, when you use Enter throughout all of your pages, they look really professional. It's a, it's a Google font that is almost identical to the one that Apple uses on their site. And you know, I feel safe using Enter. I know that I just can't go wrong with it. And the point that I'm trying to make is and that you need to be using Enter for everything, but rather to pick one font that you're comfortable with, one font that makes you feel safe and have that font be your website font. You don't have to be mixing and matching three or four different fonts, one for headings, one for body paragraphs, one for buttons, one for breakfast, no. No, just pick one font, a maximum of two if you really feel the urge of having to create a little bit of contrast between headings and body paragraphs and one font isn't cutting it for you. 
but that's it. And here's the thing, fonts take up resources on your page. Every time you put a font on a page, it loads on every other page that may not even be displaying that font. And so we're not only talking about making your site look more professional anymore, but also about making it more responsive as well. And so those are three pretty easy tips that if you follow, I think you will end up with a much better looking website. There's a link in the description box that you can click on if you wanna learn more about Thrive Suite and how I design my websites. And yeah, I appreciate your time. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.